Tizen. What does Tizen mean? Well, according to Google Translate, Tizen is a Hungarian word that means either 11 or 12, depending on whether the T is capitalized. Tizen is a new operating system being put together by Intel and Samsung. Intel has got to be the worst people working on an operating system right now. They've had Moblin. And Moblin looked really promising. It was designed as a netbook operating system. It was meant to be uh, portable to tablets and handhelds and smart TVs and um, in-vehicle infotainment systems. Uh, it, was, it looked really good. Um, uh, everybody who was using it understood that it was an in-development testing operating system and you know, we weren't expecting much. Um, Nokia came along and partnered up with Intel and they formed Mego. And what Mego was, was a merger of Moblin and I think it was Mimo. This, this gets really confusing. Because Nokia has Symbian and Mimo or Mimo, however you pronounce it, and they have their own little operating system fantasy world going on at this time. So Migo is a merger of Moblin and uh, whatever technologies Nokia brought over. So it was supposed to redesign Moblin, and um, they they were making everything cute based. So they said, not everything was cute based, and they in fact had a lot of trouble with the with the cute code, um, at least from my eyes. Um, you know, the people who were using it were expecting an update to what Molin was, and in fact, what we really got was a downgrade. It you know it started off with promise. Um, the first version were like, okay, the name's a little weird, the characters are a little goofy, everyone like seem to like the Moblin idea better, the name and the characters, but whatever. Um, using Qt, yay, Qt's cool, a lot of people liked the idea of using Qt, um, but it just, it, it fell apart, it rapidly fell apart when they decided to throw the netbook community to the side, which is the community that was helping drive the operating system and they decided to go we're going to make a tablet or we're going to make a handheld and they tried to make this handheld device well you get one handheld device the Nokia N9 which isn't even really Mego 100% it's Mego Harmaten which uses uh, Mimo and Mego and um, it's honestly a very nice looking phone it was the success it's the question that leads everybody to wonder why did Nokia leave and why is Intel moving to Samsung now because the the N9 looked like a beautiful phone the operating system looked really good now everybody who bought one has no support for it other than what Nokia provides a year later this happens in yearly intervals now a year later uh, shortly after Intel s said they were Committed to Migo, they release an announcement where they are shunting Migo to the Linux Foundation. It has a home at the Linux Foundation. Everyone's consoled, trust me. Everyone's so consoled. And they're moving to Tizen, which is an HTML5 based operating system. What the hell is going on here? It. I'm guessing it's some sort of cloud-based system. It's really up in the air of what it is, but they're they're keeping it really hush hush, and that gets me really nervous. I'm thinking when Tizen arrives on the scene in 2012, quarter one, 2012, it's going to arrive dead on arrival. Um, I don't know if Intel has ever looked into the market but the idea of using a cloud-based operating system doesn't have many fans 
Not, not that I've seen in all the comments that I've read on like ZDNet and CNET. And there's a few, but they're really aiming towards a niche within a niche within a niche because they're, they have Linux and then they're going to try and aim towards a cloud-based operating system and Jesus Christ so anyways Tizen is the new name they're working on it with Samsung it's basically a rebranded mobile and Migo operating system but instead of using Qt instead of using Clutter instead of using any of their technologies they're it looks like they're going to go with HTML5 as the as the structure, and then it's like a, a web-based operating system, which is all fine and dandy, I guess. But you got this company over here, which is producing carbon, which is exactly the same goddamn thing. And who do you think is going to win this battle? Well, in a year, <laughs> when Tizen's dead, carbon will still be around. Just like Jolie Cloud is still around, and Ubuntu Netbook Re Remix are still around. Maybe not used very often, but they're still around. And uh, Chrome OS is still around. And where are all these people going? Well, to be honest, I think they're all hitting the netbooks first. Not because people use a lot of netbooks, but because netbooks fit in the, the, the common form factor that everyone uses. Like, a netbook is similar to a desktop. You can use that. And um, then, you, then you go to, to tablets and stuff like that. And I don't know. I just don't, I just don't know why they don't finish something and then move on instead of leaving people in this clusterfuck mess of names and shit. So as you can tell, I'm pretty upset that um, Intel decided that they're going to go with um, with Tizen instead of Migo. Though they said that they're going to go with Migo, and now it's just a um, a mess of bullshit. And I don't think Samsung is really going to bring anything. Um, and I, re I just really think Tizen's going to be dead on arrival. So there's my rant. I vented. Um, not at all pleased about the news, and uh, it doesn't sound like anybody who's involved in the Migo community is very excited about the news either. A lot of people have a lot of questions, and uh, it just—it's a dumb idea. Finish something, I guess. Anyways, see you tomorrow, YouTube.